Hi, welcome to Ace Teachers Online, a series of short tutorials developed for the students. My name is Sai, and today we're going to be going through a question based on vector addition and on forces. So today's question is on vector addition and forces. This question would probably be worth between four and five marks, depending on how many parts the question is worth, and whether they actually give you a part mark for drawing the free body diagram. Now, the reason why this question is tricky is because you've got to use a couple of different approaches. First of all, you'll have to use Newton's laws, as well as F equals MA, and free body diagrams, as well as understanding what a net force is equal. So in our question here today, we've got Farmer Brad, who's got his tractor that's stuck in the mud. And to pull his tractor out of the mud, what he does is he ties this rope, the rope in black here, to a tree and the tractor. Then he exerts a force, FB, right at the middle of his rope at this point here. So what we're trying to see is if we can look at the forces here, there's a force that Farmer Brown exerts on the rope, pulling the rope away to pull his tractor out of the mud. Then that rope also exerts a force on the tree, FTR, and a force on the tractor, FMR. In the question, it tells you that at the moment where the tractor is just coming out of the mud, that force on the tractor is equal to 2,000 newtons, or 2.00 times 10 to the 3, as given in the question. The reason why it's really important to understand that this is just as a tractor is coming out of the mud is because that means the net force, or the sum of all the forces, is 0 newtons. That's really important because that means that when we draw our free body diagram, everything will cancel out. All the forces are meant to cancel out because there is no final acceleration. Now the next thing that we're going to do is use Newton's third law. Because when we draw free body diagrams, free body diagrams are just for a single system or a single body. So in this case, we want to look at all the forces acting on this rope. So to draw a free body diagram, first of all, we've got to consider the forces acting on the rope. To do, do, to do that, we need Newton's third law. Newton's third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So if FTR is the force exerted on the tree by the rope, we can label another force, FRT, which is a force exerted on the rope by the tree. And these forces should be equal and opposite. FRT is equal to FTR. Similarly, if FMR is the force the rope exerts on the tractor, the force that the tractor exerts on the rope is equal to FRM. And again, these are equal and opposite. Now, we're at the stage where we can draw up that free body diagram. So when drawing up a free body diagram, just draw your body as a simple dot in the center of the page. And then draw all the forces that are acting on this body. So if our body is the rope, the forces that are acting on this rope are the force of Farmer Brown pulling, which is FB, the force of the tree pulling, which is FTR, sorry, FRT, and the force of the tractor pulley, which is FRM. Now, to resolve these forces, what we do is we do them in two directions, or two planes. In this case, the simplest way to do it is to do it in the horizontal and the vertical plane. So if we divide this across just like that, you can call this the x direction, and this is the y direction. In this case, we know our angles here are 10 degrees. So these angles here, are also 10 degrees by using alternate angles. However, just for purposes of this explanation, let's just label these angles as theta, so we can derive a general formula first. OK, so now if we look at the forces acting in the x direction, so fx, these forces will always be equal to 0. Why? Because the sum of all the forces is equal to 0. So the complete net force is equal to 0. Now, what are the forces that are acting in this horizontal direction? We've got FRT cos theta, which is acting towards the left. And we've also got FRM cos theta, which is acting towards the right. Since they're in different directions, we'll chuck the minus sign in between, and we know that this is equal to 0. That means that FRT cos theta actually equals FRM cos theta. So from here, the next step down is just Quoting, cancelling out the cos thetas, and we get FRT equals FRM. Now, let's just label this a new variable called FT. T just standing for tension. 
right? We know that all these forces are equal, so all these forces are actually equal to 2 times 10 to the 3 newtons. Because we know that fMR here is equal to fRm, and ft and frt are also equal to fRm. So this is our first equation here. Now let's consider the y direction. Here we've actually got three forces. We've got FB acting up, and the perpendicular components, or the vertical components of FRT and FRM acting down. So if we were going to equate these, we get FB minus FRT sine theta minus FRM sine theta is equal to zero. Now we know that FRM and FRT are equal from our equation one here. So we can rearrange this to just give FB minus 2 FT sine theta is equal to 0. Now, let's look at what the question actually wants us to find. The question is actually in two parts. The first part tells, asks us to find how many times the force exerted by Farmer Brown ma is magnified. So what it's actually asking us to find here is it's asking us to find the ratio between FMR and FB. That's the same for us as finding the ratio between Ft and Fb. So if we rearrange the second equation here, we can get that Ft on Fb is equal to 1 on 2 sine theta. Now, if we sub in our theta, which is 10 degrees, we get Ft on Fb equals 1 on 2 sine 10 degrees, which gives us 2.8 so when we use this value now, we know that our force would be magnified by 2.879 times. Now to actually answer the question, we need to ensure that our final answer is given to the same number of significant figures as our initial values in the question. So here we are given 10.0 degrees and 10.0 degrees, both of which are to three significant figures, and 2.00 times 10 to the 3, again to three significant figures. So that means that our answer should be 2.88 times to three significant figures. It's always good practice to write down in brackets something like 3SF to signify that you have taken your answer to three significant figures. Now the second part of the question is how much force does the farmer actually exert? And that is here FB, the force exerted by farmer Brown. So now if we just sub in our numbers, we know that FB from our second equation here is equal to 2ft sine theta. So now if we sub in our numbers, we get this is equal to 2 times 2,000, what we know from here, times sine 10. That gives you 694.59 newtons. Again, we've got to round this to the appropriate number of sig figs, which is 3. So that gives us 695 newtons. If you guys always want to check, 695 multiplied by 2.88 should give you your value here, which is 2,000 newtons. So to approach this question, what did we actually do? The first thing that we do, that we did, sorry, is draw up a diagram which simplified all the information that we had in the question. Then we use Newton's third law to calculate the equal and opposite forces. The reason why is so we can draw a free body diagram that's just focused on one body in the um, system. Then what we did is we equated our vertical and horizontal directions to obtain two equations here. And then by using a simple algebraic manipulation of these two equations, we were able to find our answers to the two questions. Normally, when you, uh, whenever you're answering a question that asks you for force, you would always give a direction. In this case, let's just say that the direction of our 695 newtons is up. It would always be good to write something like based on the diagram, because for all you know, the marker's diagram could be different to yours, which is why it's always useful to draw your own diagram and label everything on your diagram. Thank you for watching today's video. If you wanted to see the previous video in the series, please click here. If you wanted to see the next video, click here. If you wanted to visit our website, please click on the link below.